Hey everyone, welcome back. This is like episode 457 million. I don't even know. It's been so many. As you can see, I finally got my hair to the color that I've wanted. I've been wanting to go the silver gray. Um, I do my hair myself. I went to Aveda, which is like one of the best um, hair schools out there. And so... I get to save a lot of money by doing it myself. Um, anyways, I don't work at a salon because I actually figured out that isn't what I want to do with my life. So, that's a whole other story. Today, I went with a dark look just because I thought it would look really good with my new hair color because it's so, like, light and shiny and... You know, I just thought it would look cool. And this is my favorite lipstick. It's called Rich Fig, and it's by Mary Kay. And I swear to you, I would have never thought that Mary Kay lipstick would be good because I've always thought of like Mary Kay as like makeup for older people, not to be mean. But I just have always thought of that. But it is amazing. It is one of my favorites. It, actually, it is my favorite. I love wearing it. It's really dark and it stays on for a really long time. I absolutely love it. So if you are looking for a really good, long-lasting lipstick, I would suggest getting or checking out the Mary Kay lipsticks. Um, today, I wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, there was one thing that I wanted to talk about that I wasn't really sure because it's a very sensitive subject and is very... I might get a lot of backlash because of it. I'm going to get a lot of negative comments. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and talk about it anyways. Um, I'm not going to do the whole video about it, but just a few minutes. Uh, just because I had somebody come to my door couple days ago about this and uh by the way please don't mind the way my eyeliner looks today I was in a hurry it's three in the morning here and I was like I did my hair so I just really want to do a video um I want to talk about abortions and Planned Parenthood I know that there's a lot of talk going around that you know they're trying to take away Planned Parenthood I am 100% against that because I feel like Planned Parenthood is a great place. In a lot of states, Planned Parenthood is free. In California, it's free, which is where I grew up. Um, I've had friends. I've been there before. Um, you know, you can get your birth control for free. A lot of It has a lot of good things. Um, and I don't agree with the fact that they're trying to take it away. I think that that would hurt a lot of people. And besides that, it actually is a doctor's office. Like, you can use your insurance and you can go there and get your yearly exams and this and that. That's like taking away a woman's rights to her body. I mean, for them to do that would be completely ridiculous. Um, so, if everybody, you know, can kind of think about it that way and not think about it as oh, they just give out abortions left and right and this and that. Think about it that way. Think about the fact that it's helping, let's say, people who are, you know, 15 years old and they're having sex and they need birth control. It's helping them. It's helping them get tested for STDs, which I'm sure get passed around in high schools like crazy. Um, it's helping women who can't afford to get yearly exams because you need to get those. They're extremely important. Um, you know, it's something, obviously, there's a reason why you have to do it once a year. It's important. Um, so, you know, I hope that everybody can kind of think of it that way. I'm sure I'm going to get a neg lot of negative comments because of this post, but I'm going to do it. And if you guys are upset about it, I'm really sorry. But it's something that, you know, I feel strongly about and um, after the person came to my house and kind of told me a little bit about it, um, you know, I signed this little petition, blah, blah, blah. The other thing that I want to talk about really quick is abortions. Um, I do not... I'm in the middle. 
I'm somewhat pro-choice pro and somewhat pro-life. I believe that if you are in a situation where you cannot care for that baby no matter what, now a lot of people are going to say, well, then you shouldn't be having sex. You're right. You, you honestly are right. But people are humans and they make mistakes. And if you cannot care for that baby, do not bring it into this world and let it have a terrible life. And I know there are other options like adoption and this and that. But unless you've been through an adoption, you don't know how hard it is. I haven't been through it, so I don't know how hard it is. So for people to say, well, why don't you just put the baby up for adoption? You don't know what that would be like for them. You don't know if that would haunt them for the rest of their life or how they would feel or anything like that. So all of that judgment needs to stop. It really does. A woman has a right to her own body. And I've heard that, you know, they're trying to make it to where you cannot even get abortions. That is stupid. If a woman is raped or taken advantage of or whatever the case may be and she gets pregnant because of it, you want her to bring that baby into this world and her maybe resent that child forever, have her go through the grief of being, you know, taken advantage of and raped and all of this and then you want her to go through being pregnant and then give birth to this baby that she didn't want with somebody who hurt her? That's what you want for her? No. That's completely insane if you think that that is okay because it's not. Now there are women out there who can do it and if you are one of those women that can do it, I want to say that is great for you and you are a strong person for doing that. I couldn't. There's no way I could do that because I would resent that child. I really would because I would feel like every time I looked at that child, I would see the person who hurt me. And I know that there's a lot of women out there that might watch this and they're going to, maybe they have been through that situation, had an abortion, and they felt the same way. Um, the other thing that I want to say is I don't agree with women or girls who have abortions when they are like six months pregnant when you know when the baby can live on its own even with support you are killing a human now yes six weeks that is still a baby and i understand that completely you know even five weeks i could i completely understand that but when that baby can actually breathe on its own to me, that is kind of like murder. Um, I know that that sounds like I'm all over the place with this. These are just my views on it. And I know I'm going to get some negative comments on this. But I want a lot of people to think about this the way that I'm thinking about it. And not just think about it as in, oh, you know, she was five weeks pregnant. She went and got an abortion, this and that. Well, you know what? She may be poor. She may have a drug addiction. She may, and if she has a drug addiction, that baby is going to come out addicted to drugs and have a lot of problems that she will not be able to take care of or help or anything like that. There's actually a video that I watched the other day that actually made me cry because it was babies who came out addicted to drugs and it was terrible the way that they look. And it was, I couldn't even believe it. So I want you guys to think about stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to keep going on and on about it. But those are just my views. And I kind of want some people to change their thinking. And kind of change the way that they, you know, think about abortions. Think about Planned Parenthood. Think about, you know, women in general. Think about how they're taking away women's rights to their bodies. Um, I just don't think that that's right. 
and I think that I hope actually that some of you can see it that way and when you go to vote if that bill even gets passed or I don't really know the exact names honestly I'm not really that much into politics but I do know some stuff about that um, because of the fact that the lady came to my door blah blah please think about that think about those women Think about what they have gone through or are going through and just just think about it. Um, it's not an easy thing to talk about. It's not an easy thing to bring up because it does bring a lot of mixed feelings to, for people. It will bring a lot of, you know, people who are pro-life that are going to say mean things to me. Um, I get that. You can say mean things to me. But you may or may not, I, I don't know you, but if you have ever been sexually assaulted, you may have a different view. So think about that. Okay, I'm back. Now, what I really want to talk about is how awesome all of you mamas are. Um, I wanted to bring this up because I read a little article today, or maybe yesterday, uh, and it was about, you know, breastfeeding versus formula, co-sleeping versus non-co-sleeping, blah, blah, blah. Okay, number one. Yes, breast milk is amazing. It does amazing things, but there are some women who cannot breastfeed physically, cannot breastfeed. And I am 100% pro breastfeeding. Um, I couldn't give formula to my son. I just couldn't do it. And I have spoke about that in my breastfeeding video. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. I couldn't give it to him because it made him sick. Um, so it wasn't a choice for me. My only choice was breastfeeding. But I do not look down on formula feeding moms. Any post that I ever post on social media about breastfeeding, I always say... This is not to offend any formula feeding mom because there is like this big huge battle between formula feeding moms and breastfeeding moms and I really don't understand it. You know what's best for your baby and what you want for your baby and that is your baby. So whatever anybody else has to say is not really their business. Now if it's a safety issue and they bring it up or something that's a little different but the fact is that if you want to feed your baby however you want to feed them, you feed them how you want to feed them. That is your baby. Remember that. Your baby. Not anybody else's. Second thing. Co-sleeping and non-co-sleeping. My son is two and a half. We still co-sleep. I love having him in our bed. I love cuddling with him. Um, because I'm only going to be able to cuddle with him for so long. I may not have any other children. So I'm cherishing, uh, ch uh, cherishing this time as much as possible. Um, if somebody tells me that they don't co-sleep, I'm not going to be like, you need to co-sleep. Why aren't you co-sleeping? You should co-sleep. If you don't want to co-sleep, you don't have to. And you know what? One of my really good friends, she doesn't co-sleep. Her baby is the best sleeper in the world. She spent the night in my house last night. Didn't wake up once. My son is two and a half and still wakes up once every night. And he co-sleeps. It's just crazy. Think about how much mothers or how shitty mothers treat each other. Why aren't we supporting each other? This kind of goes with the one that I posted the other day or yesterday maybe about, you know, women being mean to each other or whatever. Moms everywhere, support each other, please. If you see a mother, if you're a formula feeding mom and you see a mom breastfeeding, walk by and say good job. If you see a mom formula feeding and you're a breastfeeding mother, walk by and say good job. Because to me, the only shitty mothers out there, and excuse my language, but this like gets me all kind of hyped up and whatever, are the ones that are not taking care of their kids, their kids are dirty, their kids are never home with them, they 
live at somebody else's house because they're not taking care of them. Um, you know, they have one child living with them, but the other children live somewhere else or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, they are out partying every night and not taking care of their children, leaving their children in hot cars, stuff like that. Um, if it's an accident, that's different. But I'm talking about, like, the mom who went to the bar and purposely left her kid in the car. Seriously. Like, sometimes I feel like there should be, like, an IQ test or, like, some kind of, like, parenting test that you have to take before you can even have children. Because sometimes the things that I see on the news, it blows my mind. Now, if you're somebody who has left your child in the car, okay, I, I know children have passed away from this, so I'm not going to, like, say anything mean or anything like that. But my personal experience, I have one time locked my door I didn't I didn't go into the store but I locked my door and I was like oh shoot my son turned around got him obviously you know I was like five feet away from the car so I kind of get that um but I don't understand I don't understand how you can forget that your kid is with you like don't you have your kid with you every day now for the parents that have lost their kids because of this, I'm so sorry, and I don't mean this in a mean way. I'm just like, I'm just thinking in my head, but speaking out loud, how do you forget that? Just, you know, it's just something that I've always thought about and I've wondered about. Um, because it's just, I've just wondered. Um, but anyways, all moms, you guys need to start supporting each other more. I'm so tired of this bickering between formula feeding and breastfeeding moms and co-sleeping and non-co-sleeping and you carry your child too much and when are you going to stop breastfeeding? You know what? I'm going to breastfeed as long as I feel like it. When are you going to stop giving your child the bottle? When I feel like it. When are you going to stop giving them their binky? When I feel like it. And I read this quote that I really love about breastfeeding. It said, in my opinion, if you're offended by breastfeeding, then you're staring too hard. And that is, that cannot be more true. If you are offended by a woman breastfeeding her baby, there's something wrong. And if I ever saw somebody going up to someone and saying something about them breastfeeding their baby in public, I'd probably go crazy. I'd probably, I would be like, what are you going to, like, let your baby starve? Come on now. If you feed them formula, what's the big deal? You eat in public. What, are you going to cover up? Are you going to put a cover over your face when it's 90 degrees in Florida? Or higher? And humid? Why don't you put a freaking raincoat on and sit inside a hot tent and eat your food? Because that's pretty much what it's like for a baby when they're eating underneath the cover. Now, I can understand if... You know, a woman, like I saw this video of this woman who, this was really weird to me. She was laying on the floor with her boob, both boobs hanging out. And just like chilling there while both her kids just walk up back and forth and are breastfeeding and this and that. And she's like posting it and her boobs like all big. That's a little too much. That's like showing your boobs off. That's not breastfeeding. That's showing your, that's, you're trying to show your boobs off. You really are. That's a little too much, don't you think? It shows you much. Um, so I just wanted to kind of say that. We need to support each other. We really do. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash on this video. But you know what? I'm kind of like, I don't care. Because I've had a lot going on in the past two days. And I'm kind of just like, F it. If people get mad about it, you don't have to watch it. You can say bye bye, unsubscribe, but please don't because I want you to stay and watch my other videos. <laughs> by the way, I made a Snapchat. Um, it is, let me double check one. I think it is talking with KB. Not 100% sure. I sometimes can be a little crazy and forget. I 
I don't even know how to like use Snapchat anymore. Seriously. Tell you one second, I'll just look on Instagram because I posted on Instagram. Yes. Snapchat me at talking with K K A Y and just the letter B. Talking with K B. Snapchat me, let's have some fun. I would love to do that. I'd love to see my viewers. I, you know, I love getting the emails. I love, um, you know, I've gotten a few comments. I don't get a lot of comments, but um, I want to know if you guys can actually leave me some comments about what you want to hear more of or see more of. If you want more tutorials on makeup, I'm more than happy to do that for you. Um, I don't mind at all. I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, if you want to hear about a certain topic, please let me know. If you like just listening to me talk like this, that's perfectly fine too. If you want like a video like with me and my son, you could do that too. If you want, you know, whatever you want, I would really like some feedback. That would be like really cool if you guys could tell me, you know, what you really, really, really want. Um, you know, I would love to do another makeup tutorial. The only reason that I'm kind of steering away from the makeup tutorials is just because I've had an issue with a few people and I don't want to get backlash for me doing makeup tutorials and this and that. Um, I mean, I might just do it anyways. I honestly think one of my eyelashes is falling off. They're on really crappy today, if you can see. I did a really crappy job. You can see that white part there. That's not supposed to be there. But I was in a hurry because it's so late. Um, anyways, do you guys like my new hair color? It's like bluish but gray. Pretty cool, right? Um, I'm acting a little crazy because I'm delirious. And I think I might have screwed it up with one of my really good friends today. I'm really upset. It's not something that I'm going to talk about on here. Well, today and yesterday. But hopefully I didn't. And hopefully we can talk it through. Um, I seem to screw up a lot. I'm like the black sheep of my family. I screw up and do everything wrong. I can never do anything right. I'm like seriously the black sheep. kind of sucks. Those of you that are the black sheep, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Really does suck. Nobody understands you. You are usually depressed, anxiety, this and that. My stomach's growing. You're really different than everybody else. And people don't really understand it. I wish they would, but they don't. Um. So anyways, can you guys let me know what you want to hear more of or see more of? Um, do you guys want some hair tutorials, like hair color tutorials? Um, you know, obviously when you do anything yourself, it may not come out right. Do not use boxed dye if you want to go blonde because your hair will fall out or break off. I had chunks, and this isn't even from box dye. I had chunks of hair that broke off the bottom of my hair. I need to go get it cut now. My hair was really long, and now I need to cut like two inches off because it's really bad. Um, kind of sucks, but that's okay. It'll grow back. My hair grows really fast. Um, so yeah, the way that I got this like color was um the reason it was like yellowish blonde was because I was in like the middle phase when you whenever you are trying to get a really light platinum grayish kind of blonde it's a process you can't I mean unless your hair is natural with no color in it which I want you guys to know something hair color is not out of your hair until it grows out or you cut it off it does, unless it's like a, you know, um, semi-permanent or demi-permanent, um, it is not, no matter, like, people would come sit in my chair and they would be like, oh, well, you know, I dyed it six months ago, but I haven't 
cut it or anything. So the color's not in it anymore. No, that color is still in there. It's just grown out to probably about here. I would say six months, I don't know, depending on how long your hair grows. Then this whole bottom part is gonna have hair color. So the bottom is gonna be when you bleach it, um, I, I don't even like using the word bleach, but when you lighten it, it is going to be more of an orangey color than your, where your roots will be. Your roots will be really, really bright, and then, you know, so be prepared for that if you want to do a color like this. Um, if you have any questions on what formula I used, I can give that to you. If you want to know what products I used, I can give that to you. Um, I just go to Sally's because it's cheap and easy, has everything that I want and need, so I go there. I know a lot of people have Sally's or a place equivalent to that, so if you guys want this kind of color, let me know and I can, you know, kind of show you how to do it or tell you. can't really show you because I already did mine, but I may be doing my nephew's hair again. Ugh, I don't even like calling him my nephew because he's like almost the same age as me, but I may be doing his hair again. And if I do, maybe I can film that and you guys can see that. So that way you can see how to achieve this. Uh, his color looks really cool on him. Um, so Arthur, be ready because you're going to be on film when we do your hair. Yay! He doesn't know that yet, but I'm going to try to make him. I'm sure he'll do it. He's in front of, he like, you know, performs and stuff all the time. He's really cool. And he sings. And my son loves him. He's super cool. I wish I was as cool as him. He has like tons of friends, I think. I don't even like have any. Well, he's my friend. Um, I know I'm just babbling now. Just for fun. But it is like... Ugh, it's 3.55 in the morning already. I can't even believe it. 3.55... I have to be up early. I tomorrow am going with a client to find some photography spots. Oh, also, if you guys want any tips on photography, um, feel free to ask as well. Um, if you want to know, you know, like anything about like my lighting, this and that. This black thing behind me is just a black sheet. It's really wrinkled. I didn't. I don't really. I haven't been trying to make it flat and like perfect because it's really just a background and it's not a big of a deal. Um, Actually, I'm going to put you on hold for a second. I'm going to put the brick background behind me because I want you to see what I'm talking about, about the paper ones that are really cool in case you do like, um, if you're like a brand rep for the Instagram shops or something like that. Hold on. All right, look at that. It was that easy. I put it up that quick and it really looks like real brick and it's paper. Like it seriously is paper. It's really cool. Hold on. I wanted to move my light a little bit because it was kind of getting a glare. Um, if you guys want to know like what kind of camera I use, I have a Sony A5100. They're about $700. Um, they are 24.3 megapixels. Um, but I am a photographer so I use a professional camera. You, if you are just going to do videos or something like this, something like this. You don't really need, um, you know, this expensive of a camera. Um, my dream camera is the Sony a7 II. Um, I, when we get our taxes, am going to be buying that camera. I can't wait. The good thing about the Sony cameras is that all of the lenses are interchangeable. So I'm really excited about that too because I have a couple lenses and I want to be able to switch them and I can switch them with that camera. Yay. So, well, I'm hoping that my husband's going to get it for me, which I think he is because I've been talking about it for a long time. Um, I feel like Santa right now sitting in front of this with my, like, gray hair. Um, let's see. I know there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, I want you guys to go follow my Instagram. I have, like, almost 100 followers. It is makeup by talk with K, K A Y. I may change it to just makeup by K, but because my show is called Talking with K, I thought that I would keep that because 
the makeup is really just photos of my makeup before every episode so that's why I kind of had that in there but it kind of sounds funny um and I've already said it on here a few different times so I don't really want to change it and then it's like you guys have to find another one and this and that um so we'll see what I'm gonna do about that my mother-in-law is in the room next door so that's why I'm talking a little bit quieter um I don't want her to come in here and wonder why I'm up at four in the morning when really it's just because I did my hair so I was like might as well do my wake up and do all this which is crazy because I have to be up early I have to go with a client to look at some parks which I'm actually kind of excited about um it'll be a lot of fun um other than that last thing I just want to say thank all of you that have subscribed I know it's only like 20 people um, but I am getting like a good amount of views it's just that you guys aren't subscribing I don't know really know why you're not subscribing but if you could subscribe that would be great um, I would love that I would love if you would share my videos with people because a lot of them can be helpful for people who are in certain situations so do that for me um, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. I do get a few of those on most videos. Um, this one's starting to get a little bit long, so I'm going to start cutting it short. But um, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Snapchat. I'll Snapchat you back. I love Snapchat. Um, you know, I love making funny faces. I love doing fun stuff. So, you know, maybe we can even do like a fun game with Snapchat. Um, I don't know what, but maybe i will screenshot you guys and just so show some pictures of my followers on here um yes i will screenshot you so if you make a funny face i will screenshot you and show it on here um so thank you all very much i really appreciate it this is something that i was kind of nervous to do and i'm really happy that i did it so thank you for that um thank you for listening thank you for being supportive mm -hmm. It's always great to have supporters. Um, I, you know, just really love doing this. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, I'm sure that you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, you can talk so much, which I can. Um, so thank you guys. I'm going to edit this one a little bit like I did with the makeup video um, where, you know, I'm just going to like add a few little things to it. Maybe I'll add some music or something like that I don't know maybe I'll add some bloopers um you know something like that so thank you all very much subscribe follow me on Instagram oh and follow me on Twitter um my Twitter is at makeup by KB I believe let me double check that too just to be sure because yes makeup by k-a-y and then the letter b makeup by kb um i tweet a lot so follow me on twitter instagram makeup by talk with k and snapchat is um talking with kb so follow me on all of those let's talk let me know what you want to see i'm going to do another makeup tutorial tomorrow because I feel like you guys really like that one, but I'm gonna edit it so that you're not, I'm gonna do like a voiceover so that you're not like just watching 40 minutes of me doing my makeup and I'm gonna speed it up and do stuff like that. It's a lot easier. Um, and it's just, you know, that one was really long, but I really wanted you guys to grasp every single step that I do. But this next one, I'm gonna just do voiceovers and do some writing on it, okay? All right, thank you all very much. And I hope you have a good night or morning, um, wherever you are, if you're somewhere else in the world. By the way, I met this really cool lady from Australia, so I want to say hi to you. Um, I'm not going to say your name, but you are so cool, and I'm actually talking to her right now. It's probably like 7 or 8 o'clock there. Um, I've been editing photos for her, and they got featured on some really cool Instagram pages, so I'm really excited about that. Um, Alright, thank you guys. I hope you know that I love you all and I'm so excited to be doing this. So keep supporting me. Subscribe, please. All right, good night.
this is going to be for the bloopers because I tend to screw up a lot. So I'm going to have just a couple minutes of bloopers. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to all my channels, all my other websites. Um, my MySpace. Totally joking. Um, <laughs> my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. I'm going to put all the links down below. So make sure that you subscribe to them. And tweet me back. Um, send me some snaps. Send me some snaps of your makeup. I want to try to recreate some new looks. Um, I love this look I did today. I think it looks really cool and I really love it. But I want to try some new looks. Um, and I keep copying people like on the internet. And um, I want to try some new stuff. So why don't you guys ask me some questions about makeup. I would love that. So Because I do everything on a budget and that would be a lot of fun for me. Let's do that. Yes. Snapchat me. Talking with K B K A Y B. Talking with K B K A Y B. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Again. Talking with K B K A Y B. Don't. Who do I look more like right now? Scarlett Johansson or Mel Melissa? <laughs> Alyssa Milano. I swear to you, when my hair is dark, people tell me all the time that I look like Alyssa Milano. It's like I'm like I get it all the time. I'm like her doppelganger. Doppelganger. It's such a weird word, right? But then I also get Scarlett Johansson sometimes. I wish I had the body like her. I'm like a freaking stick figure. Seriously. I should stand up and let you guys see how freaking skinny I am because I look like a weirdo. I don't even want to. I'm so skinny. How cool are moms with tattoos? Like super cool. Do you guys want to see my tattoos? I'll show you my two coolest. This one. Let's see if you guys can see it. My husband and I got them together. Mine says, I will always hold on to you. And his says, and I will never let you go. Because we are going to be together forever. And it has our wedding date. And I have two little love birds. And my other really cool one is, I have a peace sign right here made out of daisies like little daisy flowers that i love my next tattoo is gonna say thug life right across my throat totally joking not doing that um i'm gonna get one for my son um it's gonna say his name probably down here by my arm and i'm going to start my sleeve soon i am going to do full sleeves on both arms i'm so excited who's ready for that um, I was actually thinking about getting a tattoo representing myself, like a tattoo of, let's see, maybe a stick figure, because I look like a stick figure, but no, um, I want to get a tattoo on my leg of three big sunflowers, like on my thigh, I thought that'd be cool. And then I was going to get the tattoo for my son, my sleeve. Um, I kind of want to do Jack Skellington and Sally for me and my husband. My son loves Jack Skellington. Um, I don't know yet, but I am doing both sleeves. It will be done soon. It really will. I promise you. You see that black spot under my eye? What? What is that? God. I'm gonna just freaking move my camera. God. Yeah. Um. 
Hmm. I just kind of like want to look at myself in this little like camera that I have right here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> there goes my stomach again. Why do girls make videos where they're like going like this? Actually, I can kind of see why now because your makeup looks really pretty when you do that. So, okay, let's do a real one this time. You guys are so cool. You guys need to watch Carpool Karaoke with Justin Bieber. Big box, little box, cardboard box. Big box, little box, cardboard box, something like that. You guys will know what I'm talking about if you watched it. Bet you you haven't, but you should. And one more secret. Right now, my hair, I just curled a couple pieces in the front because the back looks terrible. But it actually doesn't look bad right now. It's kind of cute. Doesn't it? By the way, I have this newfound love for Justin Bieber. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So funny because if you saw my husband, he looks nothing like Justin Bieber. But I love my husband. He's way hotter, hotter than Justin Bieber. But I've had this newfound love for him. And if Kourtney Kardashian is dating him, then... Good for you, girl, because I love you. Um, my eyelashes, I really screwed them up today. But my eyeshadow looks cool, right? I mean, does that make up for it? Or do I just look like a crazy person? I think I just look like a crazy person. What was I going to say? I know I'm such a weirdo. I'm delirious, as you can see. And now I just look, look like I'm freaking crazy. God, what am I doing? the bloopers because I screwed up a lot in this video because I'm so delirious. Um, I'm going to probably show those at the end. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw some in in the middle. Who knows? Maybe I'll throw them in at the beginning for fun. Yeah? Alright everyone. Thank you so much. Again, have a good night.